Boom. Coming in, going out, entering game. Traveling to Hanamura. Sweet man. Well. Well, well, mm -hmm. well. Look, mm -hmm. it's Hanamura. Who would have thunk? Who would have thought? Who would have thank? You actually want to thank map bands for this one. <laughs> so, Hanamura first point. Grand finals. Boom. Yeah, we're finally made it, everyone. And oddly enough, as we found out during the break, Carter Wheel and Team Guantanamo, they faced off in round one. So we have a bit of a rematch. But first, before that, introductions. Casting today again, Mr. Dongles, myself, and Bird back again. Ooh. And got a different observer right now. See, not he was in earlier today, but he's taking the place place of Wraith. How's it going? But now everyone's getting set up. But let's go through some team introductions. Why don't we? I was reclaimer Reclaimer dies. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let's start with Reclaimer. Hey, he's playing a little uh, McCree, but he's currently dead right now. Manatee on Zenyatta, kicking off the fences in the back. Just Matt on Zarya, Biosock on Reinhardt, SJ on Anna, and leading Carther Wheel all the way from winners to losers bracket back to the grand finals is Applesauce. On the Soldier 76, on the other hand, Team Guantanamo, we were doing it. At least. F stake flightless veterans in black wave. The Zenyatta Zarya Reinhardt flightless and oh. awesome, awesome time of Pharah. <laughs> What's happening? And Black Wave going down for the first one with that McCree. Hmm. Early pick. Less than ten almost ten seconds in. He's going down already. But F stake, eh, getting a little flame strike off, but that shield fits perfectly over that door, and that is the biggest choke point in this map. One of the most difficult, but of course you have ways to go to the top left and you can fly around up top above the door, but it seems like each team is just holding their own right now, waiting for everyone to group up, grab good positions, build up that ultimate. It seems like we've got a bit of a stalemate right now. This is a hold off of the first point. You want to build up the ultimates to actually try to get over the push. Really good stuff to like have the hold for color wheel, but Looks like F stick and everybody else wants to push in. I don't think they're ready just yet. But flightless, Ooh. picking up another one off on Reclaimer. That Vera, I mean, jeez, he is just culturing, killing anything and everything in sight. Manatee going down as well, so currently that's two down, and they're gonna be waltz right in because they got quite the numbers advantage right now. F stake getting slept after he gets charged. Puts his shield up, but F stake, oh, he gets finally down by Biosock, who's swinging madly away at Uber Donut. Can he get him? He does in the end. The flightless is still flying around. He's, he's got wings. And there he goes up into the sky. Biosock can't do much but put the shield up and he's going to join up Anna on the left side of the point. They're just going to pick off right now, but it looks like they may have to regroup right now unless they want to stagger their uh, stagger their respawns. Yeah, staggering would be a bad thing, but at this time it's okay for now. It's because it's a little early. But the uh, push was really good. And unfortunately, they couldn't really take it off. Just Matt and Bioshock really doing some amazing work on the tank play for the last few games. Apple sauce on the side, you're going to be able to pick up Black Wave. Absolutely. And actually, I, we should have mentioned this earlier, but because this is Grand Finals and the uh, team Guantanamo has made it all the way in undefeated, this is a best of five instead of a best of three, and they will get an automatic point to their total. So it's currently a 1-0 sitting, and it's a best of five. So there's a chance for lots of matches to come tonight. But once again, they Team Guantanamo only needs two for the time being, while Color Wheel needs three. Applesauce right there, playing a little bit too aggressively. Got the pick off onto Flightless, but gets caught up on the side. It's still a reformation for both teams. They have the ult advantage though right now. Uh, Color Wheel, wow, they have everything ready to go. Applesauce is the only one who doesn't have anything, but it only takes a little bit of pilter to get that push in for the team of Color Wheel. On the other hand, Team Guantanamo, they're going to get a raise to fly through and get that ult down. Looks like the fight's going to go inside Uber Donut, popping out that Transcendence, but not enough to save Flightless and AC yet. But they're going to go up top, actually, even with two people down, and they're not sure what to do. They're going in and out, backwards, forwards. 
Looks like they're gonna have to stay here for the time being, although they do have a clear line to get out, but they're just gonna wait patiently for their team. And it's odd that, well, I guess it's not odd that they weren't pushed because they gotta watch the front door, color wheel that is. And now since they're through F-State coming through with Big Shield, everyone's joining back up. Flightless, remember Rocket Barrage, that everyone likes to help. Oh, Flightless goes down from Biosock and or hammer down, and he's nano boosted. So he's gonna take down F-State. That's gonna be a team kill once that just goes down. 10 seconds left, and that'll be GG for the round, unless a Tracer can come out, maybe. What a pickoff on the flight list. In the beginning, like, he was about to get ready, but he accidentally cored Dallas himself inside the, like, archway hole, and what a burst, what a game, and color wheel. At least taking out the defense, quite handling on that first point. No points gotten for Team Guantanamo. Not much needs to be done for Color Wheel. They just need to make it to that first point. They got some ground to work up, seeing as it's a best of five coming from the loser's bracket. But with that type of defense, and if they can carry that momentum to the offensive side, I mean, just one or two picks hopefully can give them enough to scooch their way under the point and take the first map. It's one solid push, one solid get. But, you know, they, don't, they are in times constraint. I only have about two minutes, 30, three minutes to try to actually get to that point. So it's all dependent. We could see a draw. Oh my. We could actually see a draw in this one. Oh that would be interesting. Not another. Not a list of five. <laughs> Please. I mean, it's it's a short one because it's only the first one being messed out. So, I mean, it could happen. We'll see. We, we want more games, right? 20 games in, in one day. That works, right? Probably done more than that, that's for sure. <laughs> but hey, Black Wave, Black Wavy, on to the May. Uh, this is something that's been kind of a must have for many, many uh, teams, especially on these points with tiny choke points. So May likes to sit off to the side, just crouching, waiting with bated breath to pop up that wall. So anyone who's going to come through is going to get separated. That could be something that stalls teams forever almost. You just have to really push that May off to the side and make sure everyone is together so no one gets cut off from each other. Yeah, they're not expecting that all Reclaimer is playing the Diva. That's only pretty big switch up. I would have liked to see um, Color Wheel actually go with a pro pretty more diving comp with Winston and such to try to go off of this because this is a standard defense. When you have May, you have Reinhardt just kind of at the door and then splitting up people left and right. They haven't seen the May just yet, but they will see it pretty soon. Once the first person gets split up off the wall. Biosock is good on that uh, threshold. And he gets taken down right away. Diva flying over the wall. Then we're backing away. Like we said maybe wall picks off one or two people. And that's enough to stall the push. And once their blizzard comes out, that's a huge game changer as well. Throw that in that tiny area. And everyone has to scatter and stop all the damage they're doing. So now wall goes up. A little breather for each team. Now they're going to reset and engage each other again. But F State is down, so they're going to be able to push up just a little bit more. But Vetch gets a pick off on the Applesauce. The Claimer just going to be able to pick up on one over there. But Black Wave, really big wall yet again. Oh, that is so disheartening to get this pushy stop off. But <laughs> it is good stuff coming out from just Matt. Still trading off 1v1. But again, good good defense from these more time. Color Wheel, they've shown some prowess to actually switch out. Are they going to be able to switch out in time, and are they able to get this point? That's a new question. Well, it may not be that way, because Uber Donut popped off that trend sentence to stop them from getting any picks away, but Biosock coming in hard with the charge and being charged up from the Nano Boost. And it looks like they're on the point for people, and there's just people, tr you know, they're trickling in now. Team Guantanamo is going to lose this, this first map. Reclaimer playing some games with a shield. Black Wave doing a little hello. That'd be GG. Nice little rally coming out from Color Wheel. Even though they were down and out for a little bit of it, they just broke through the defense. On the other hand, Team Guantanamo. Maybe the rest was a little bit too long. Maybe Color Wheel has such an advantage of how many games have been played. They have a feeling of how they're supposed to play. Guantanamo just couldn't really answer this one for right now. I think in games total played, Guantanamo's had four. Oh, this is that early kill on Flightless. So he had, Flightless had his ultimate, and that would have been a huge game changer at this push. 
but Applesauce staying on that soldier after switching off tank earlier in the tournament. But yeah. anyway, um, yeah, Guantanamo has been playing four games and they've been on quite a you long cooldown right between decision. matches. But uh, Color Wheel has been going six games, maybe seven games strong after all this, and they're hot off their heels on the last game and they're just continuing that momentum in this map. And it's all in color wheel to say, we know that you've seen must play for quite a bit, or if you haven't been watching, they've been playing for quite a bit, and um, they're ready. I mean, they want this first championship. I mean, both teams do, obviously. But Team Guantanamo, even though they have that one event advantage coming from the winner's bracket, it's now tied up one-to-one, -one, and now we're at a best of three, pretty much, to decide the finals of the first main moon sub rumble. It's like Dorado's gonna be... The next choice. More like Dorito, am I right? Good one, Uber Donut. Oh, God. You win the prize. Is, is this uh, tagged along with Mountain Dew oh. as well? No, no sell out plugs, please. <laughs> hey, kids, sponsor me, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get the all readies, all the green marks. No. Uh, yeah, they need they, they, they to take a break right now. I guess it's uh, Team Bond Time. We're going to be on the blue side this time, Color Wheel on the red side. I like. The teams, like, uh, I mean, in the sense that one thing that every team has tried to get with Color Wheel is like a cock point map. Unfortunately, we only have one technical cock point, but it's more of a hybrid. So it's weird Team Guantanamo didn't pick up on any of those. Maybe it's not their strong suit either. Unfortunate for that, as Hanamara did go in favor of Color Wheel. We'll see if Dorado, the next map coming up, will do the same thing. We Traveling go. Dorado, uh, fairly popular map within this tournament today. Popped up in almost every, seems like at least ones I've spectated, every single Select one I've been in. Hero. A different result each time, high ground versus low ground, people flanking left or right. But I wonder if we'll see any trick plays any weird off heroes sj you know picking on the early Widowmaker, but who knows if anyone will stay on their choices yeah i mean if there's ever a sombra the big play come on i mean we did actually see <laughs> someone play sombra to try to touch the point but that's about it well uh, we'll see eventually the sombra meta come into play where we would just with stealth and not see anything happen until uh something pops up but on the other hand, we are pretty much seeing the same comps that we've been usually seeing, uh, at least for the defensive side. We, we're seeing the double tanks onto Color Wheel. I mean, onto Team Guantanamo. Absolutely. And that three tank meta, or at least old meta, was quite prevalent in the last couple matches with Color Wheel, Team Who, uh, XD. So now we're seeing some different setups two tanks. So, while it may, on paper, not seem much, that is a huge impact with health and damage for whatever teams are choosing to not have that third tank. But, anywho, SJ switched off that Widowmaker actually onto some Ana for some good old heroes. Help they come go. Oh, that Flame Strike once again getting thrown off through that crack. F stake likes to do that a lot. I don't know if he actually got much with it, may have hit the shield. Of uh, Biosock, but they're looking down upon their enemy, throwing down flame strikes, shields a plenty, and they're gonna have to walk either in front or behind that archway quite soon because this is the biggest choke point in Dorado. Yep, the only one that you would want to hold, usually with a May, but they want to go for the amazing tactics off of this one. So we'll see if the team Guantanamo can really just hold it off. Applesauce getting first pick again off the flight list. Applesauce doing some major damage. Whoa, oh, he is doing what? so good. Oh, Reclaimer. He's at, oh, I think he was probably at two or three health, helping out Applesauce on the side. But yeah, they're just rolling through that first point. Wow. Carlo Wheel not taking anything. Well, they took all the lives of the enemy team, but they're not taking any type of trash from them. Pushing straight through. Who knows if they'll try to contest? Probably not. That would be quite a big mistake to ACs oh, and f Staker up front, but they're kind of pushing forward. They should be coming back soon, I would think. 
It clearly went off on the side, and discarded. Didn't have to go back off as well. Really important that applesauce and uh, disclaimer, reclaimer, uh, work together. <laughs> disclaimer. disclaimer, the reclaimer. Uh, work together though. They need, they need to make sure that they don't actually get picked up. As we do see, Black Wave is going to be picked up by reclaimer, but applesauce was traded for that one. And we'll see how they can play it out for the second point. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that was weird. That Earth Shatter actually got no one, even though the shield didn't look like it was up from Biosock. But right before that, AC got some good assist from uh, Betches with a huge Bionic Grenade on the enemy team. So now Color Wheel has to reset slightly, heal up, and they have to start pushing out again. Currently, everyone's fighting on the ground. It hasn't come to the point where they. Where uh, Guantanamo. Oh, got AC got stuck on the wall. They're not taking, thinking of a high ground yet. But this would be a good time for them to recuperate and grab some safety and some cover because they are not looking well. They need to back up with that stick right now. Yeah, and the backup would be, it has to be called. They have to reclaim themselves to make sure that we clean their video so we can actually pick up on them. The manatee picking up on Black Wave. Oh, if Stake would be taking down the shield. Oh, going to be able to black away, but Stake would take it up with applesauce. So DPSs are going too good, but Pause is going to come out. Looks like we do see a DC coming into play. I think it was. Oh, boy. I, I believe it was Ace. There was one time where he actually was stuck on the wall. I think he I probably got DC from there. Yeah. All right, I got my timer going. Five minutes is the allotted time bank that they get until someone can get back in. At the end of the five minutes, we just keep going. And, you know, unfortunately, they may have to play with five players. Yep. So, but... Each team gets a five-minute bank of time throughout each match. And hopefully, they don't have to use it. Uh, yeah, hopefully, they don't have to use it. That was, uh, yeah, it looked super weird when I saw Ace go down. So I was thinking maybe he AFK'd for like two seconds or you know, DC, which is most likely he got DC from. So it's unfortunate. Uh, going back to the rest of the points, though, the first point. There wasn't really much of a defense to bring brought out. I mean, it was just Matt and Reclaimer getting so many get picks. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Applesauce, although he's playing some great, great tank play, has been playing his the lights out with this Soldier 76. <laughs> like, seriously, he, he's been tactical advisor and everything, and uh, well, every Helix rocket like seems to hit. It's so good, so, so good. Asking, can we just pause? We're willing to wait. I don't think we can. We have to go. I mean, even if both teams say they want to go back, what do you mean by pause? Like, maybe they use up their time as well. I guess. Uh. Making sure I'm figuring out what they want. Yeah, just to make sure. Uh, Dongles is one of the admins as the headcaster and pretty much the, the creator of the tournament after uh, the well, first tournament. I would say no. I mean, no. I was I was there sort of near the beginning, but mm -hmm, mostly mm -hmm. on the, like the casting side. Gotcha. Well, it looks like Ace is actually going to be back in, so it should be fine. Uh, okay, well, they still have just under three minutes, so. Right. Yeah, Ace, I, I look, wasn't... Looks like he's connecting back in soon. Okay. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I wasn't the creator at all, really. I mean, Farrah has been the admin who's been kind of running the show and behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, but I, would, I just came in really early on in season one doing casting and stuff. Uh, like, I was doing all of this on my own, which was kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. A lot to think about. Um, he's not loading back in. Um... He's on. I think I have to. I think I literally have to unpause, then repause. Because you're the host, I guess, or something. That makes sense. Yep. So, this this is, is such a huge bug. Like, you have to unpause it. Oh my god. For them to join. Really? Then then you pause it back again for them All to get back so in. Oh, that's so awkward. <laughs> it's really bad. How many times um, I mean, I love Blizzard, but please, can we fix this? 
I'm like, I'm, I'm in my seat. I'm like, my mind, what is happening? I'm, I'm just, I'm pausing again. Hello. Peace be upon you. Uh. I think it looks like we're good now. Yeah. This, this is literally the worst thing. Like, I remember we, we found this out <laughs> last season in like mm -hmm. later games. Oh, gosh. Everyone good? Uh, <laughs> Zed, run away. I may, it, it may take a bit for his ping to level out after all this. Okay, because of the pause, is probably disturbing yeah. all the amounts and stuff. It, it's weird. They, they introduced this pause function, I think it was two patches ago, I think. And like, the kinks aren't totally, totally worked out. It, it came in with the spectator, like camera smoothing and all that stuff too. So everything on the screen, at least for camera work, has been a lot better for a lot of tournaments uh, ever since BlizzCon. But uh, yeah, there's some bugs, some bugs indeed. And as we do see, the second point is probably going to get pushed all the way in. Unfortunate for that DC, but yeah. how are we all going to get that one for there? Through the pause timer, they still have about two minutes left on that in case someone else does uh, DC again. But hey, they cur currently coming back from that pause. Color wheel, they have all of their ultimates. So that is something they are sitting comfortably with right now. They can use one or two and just feel good about they can <laughs> wipe the whole team. As I say that, Black Wave taking a big double kill off the side of Roadhog and Just Matt being taken down by Uber Donut as well. So, we'll reset once again. They did get their payload past that door. But with all of their ultimates coming in, I mean, uh, Team Guantanamo as well will have five of their ultimates once Black Wave gets back into the mix of it. The AC, you know, after the DC is building up his ultimate as fast as he can. This will be huge engagement that's coming up here. Yeah, the ultimate advantage is going to be quite big for Color Wheel, who used up the Grand Hunter, or. or who use up on the Ana grenade, and we'll see if the Gravitron search goes down. What are we going to go with the damage? Transcendence by both Zenyatas, and they're just kind of sitting there looking at each other. But Lightless, in the meantime, uses Death Blossom to get three people down immediately, and then the last three or four go down. I'm sorry, he got two in the first couple seconds of that fight. But man, they're just currently, even with all those ultimates. You know, they did bank a few. They still have three to use. That's good. They knew maybe initially in that fight to not um, to not use all their ultimates to try and gain an advantage again. So they're sitting still with three ultimates and Black Wave's only one currently with his whole hog. Yeah, the uh, the big thing was the ultimates being used in a small corridor. It was not going to favor anything, even if they stayed you know, alive. So it was good for them to pick it up. Whole hog would be used up to push up. <laughs> The team, and now we have zero ultimates for Team Guantanamo. Call the wheel on the other hand. They still have three, ready to go. Now that whole hog, maybe they thought there was some big ultimates about to come into play through that small door, so they wanted to push him back. But now everyone's kind of back around the payload. Biosock's looking to use that Earth Shatter. And he could use it on those three right now. Well, maybe they don't need it because Whitelist and F-Stake have gone down in the back line, so Applesauce is just going to walk forward and they're going to retreat. This payload is just going to get farther and farther away. Run, Vetches, run. Oh gosh, this isn't looking good for both of them. They need to start running over to their spawn door so the team can help them out, but nope, they go down, and that is a huge stagger. Do we have another DC? Oh boy, oh boy. That's an interesting place to pause. F-stake. <laughs> <laughs> CB getting that, that charge. I'm guessing it was Ace again? I didn't, I didn't actually see too many of the, the problems that could have happened within the DC, but I'm guessing it was Ace uh, getting DC'd off again. But no ultimates really being used from Color Wheel. This one is, is um, uh, looking pretty grim, at least for the first attack of the point. So Guantanamo, I mean, mostly what you can say is we'll reset the game for them. Or not reset the game. Like They have to reset their mindset to get in this game because obviously they're nope. they're they're struggling with a few technical issues of vehicle esports internet and stuff 
not working out quite well, so we'll hopefully see Ace and everybody else of Team Black Thunder come back in. So it looks like they were good. They, they told me I could undo it, so. Yeah. Looks like they're just waiting to go back to lobby and. Because with, with all the pushing that they were due, it may have been in inevitable that they were going to get that final push and point. Score. But they found that it may have been best to, uh, to three. stop and just give as much time for uh, AC to get back in. I actually don't know if he's back yet. But yeah. they do have the this intro phase to get through before <laughs> he's getting back. I wonder if AC's hitting some major ping and it, it may seem like he's DCing. But he's actually still in the game. I'm wondering if that's what's happening right now. Yeah. I mean, it might oh, also be... Australian? Oh, well. <laughs> that might be a thing, too. Australian uh, internet. Not the best. I I've not heard any good things about it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Aussie folk. I think it kind of shafted right internet. And then prices... Oh, debatable, I guess, with... Uh, you know, transferring and converting all those dollar signs from U.S. to Australian, but yeah, not, not a good deal he's going on, but can't imagine playing with 500 ping, apparently that's what he's doing with. Hopefully he can stick with it, you know, clear up soon. Yeah, I mean, it might be a time peak thing, because, you know, most ISPs do some bottling. Third peak hours, and it's unfortunately it might be that time for Ace. On the other hand, they do have to play the offensive game. They have four minutes to go. We'll see if Tony Bronx Tone can go with this one. Black Wave gonna be playing on the Genji this time, though. That's gonna be a different fight list. Still gonna be playing his Trident True Fera. Guys been playing a lot of Reaper lately just because they can't really answer the Applesauce if they play with Fera. So we'll see a DC come up yet again. <laughs> he ended it uh, right, right on zero right. too. Nice. Right on zero. Um, since it's the beginning of the, I mean, it's the beginning of the round, but it's in the middle of the match is the thing. Um, I mean, they you, you still have one thirty to go. I'm just gonna use the rest of their timer. Okay, so we're going to go in about a minute or so. Hopefully Ace yeah. can come back up, but I know it's frustrating. I mean, we were having technical issues with uh, another person as well. I think we started off the day with Team Guantanamo versus... I can't remember the other team name right now. There's, there's been so many matches, but they had some uh, unfortunate problems as well. So it's unfortunate, but it's, again, internet. We can't really control it. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes it works perfectly almost all the time. We'll see if Ace can actually push it through. It's on Ace. We're, we're all cheering for Ace to actually get his Australian internet to go <laughs> backwards and actually work for more than 20 minutes. So we'll see. Go, go Ace, you go. I think they're good. Okay, is he in? All right. All right, going. I'm just making sure because you have to stay <laughs> unpaused for, right. for a certain amount of time for them to actually connect in. <laughs> He's in for now. So we see the start up yet again, yet the ever so uh, standard kind of top side push on the defense, but Black Wave. <laughs> One nigga in the back line got sleppered and got sneaked into the gray of the pavilion. Um, nice stuff. Very nice defense, but uh, we have no defense actually on the archway, so we have to see everybody go back in. Yeah, I mean, Black Wave just got absolutely murdered. He got surrounded by six enemies and they just went to town. But f -Stake, trying to hold that payload contested, he goes down in the end. Looks like Applesauce is getting pushed off his high ground where he likes to be, but remember, Flightless a lot of their whole team, Guantanamo, likes to play around him and use their ultimates so uh, Rocket Barrage can stay there and get a lot of kills, but Applesauce may be keeping him in his bay, and currently no one's staying too close to the payload. They're all 
white, white, uh, not tenacious, what's the other word? That's the opposite of what for. Trepidatious. No words. Big ST words right there. Uh, applesauce <laughs> doing some really interesting things. So, applesauce, he's been following him quite a bit. Has been doing some flank plays. He has been killing on the flight list. It's usually, you know, flight list versus applesauce. That's the main battle that we've been seeing for DPS. But applesauce has been drawing one or two or three people off the plane, off the actual objective there. It's been really well. He's been doing probably the MVP plays for every day. And he takes flight list down yet again. Applesauce mm -hmm. is just, mm. he, he is, he's bringing the girth, the greedy, the beauty <laughs> of everything right now. Until he dies with Black Wave, and then, yeah, the yeah. usual. Cast your but, but hey, Flightless was getting close to his Rocket Barrage, mm -hmm. and every everyone else on Guantanamo Bay is about to have Guantanamo Bay, just Guantanamo. They almost have all of their ultimates as well, so they're looking to get a big grouping right here and use Flightless as their DPS. Right now, Reclaimer getting booped off trying to engage, but the same thing for Color Wheel. They have just about all their ultimates as well, so it's going to be huge. Graviton Surge coming off from AC. There goes Flightless going on, but he turns away because of the Transcendence from Manti. Reclaimer, the Deadeye up top, he just drops right down in front of everyone. Doesn't end up grabbing any of it. Uh, Transcendence from Uber Donut right in the middle of his whole team. Biosock still going strong, taking out Bio or F Stake taking out Biosock. But he goes down as well. They're trying to contest them. the Reclaimer, just sticking on the front of that payload. He's hiding ever so, ever so small. He throws out his stun, but gets blasted away by AC. He's currently in game, surprisingly enough. The payload clears the archway. Now they just have to go around the fountain. Currently, that may be a little bit difficult for them to do. It's really important that both DPSs uh, for both teams actually worked out quite well. Reclaimer versus... Uh, I think it was Black Wave, and it was Reclaimer winning out. That mostly... Like really, really good stuff. The support alts, everybody playing together. Let's just say that team fight was one off of more of the teams winning out in the end. And it just went even by Applesauce, even denying flight this on the Tracer. <laughs> Doing some amazing things right now. Again, getting double kill and just coming and going. I would say and even after that big team fight, ooh, Black Wave, grab a two piece in the side room. After that big team fight, I would say Team Guantanamo did come out on top because they got. Uh, payload past the point, but it is creeping ever so slowly backwards, so they need to go with 10 seconds left to really push through this last, you know, few 10, 15 meters. And they're coming in with three, almost four ults, and they should have to do this if they use it in the right order. AC go throwing down the Graviton Surge about, maybe. Oh, Black Wave, there comes Dragon Blade, but currently Applesauce, Tactical Visor, plus his, uh, Tactical, oh, Tactical Visor, but they walked off the payload in overtime, so GG. What a way to end that game right yeah. there. Really, that was brutal because like the ultimate venture was all odds from Guantanamo. They should have been able to win out that one color wheel. Just that little bit of trepidation from Team Guantanamo trying to take out applesauce instead of the point. And it's GG going out to color wheel yet again. One to two now onto the best of five. Flightless trying to make his way. He switched to a lot of different heroes. He realized that Pharah may not have been his best choice, but he went on to Tracer, he went on to Reaper, and he just couldn't find something that could really work for him. They really zoned him out and uh, made sure he couldn't make his big plays like he has been. It's one thing. We're like We've always talked about it during the previous games with Flightless playing out. He wasn't getting focused at all. And this game, Color Wheel, then they recognize this. They need to focus down on the DPS, and they've been getting ways. It's mostly um, Applesauce with those flanks on Soldier 76, just getting those one or two picks. And each time, it's been getting flightless, each little by little. It's a little more tilt just going into the team. Right now, it is one or two in favor of Color Wheel onto this best of five grand finals. <clears throat> Hollywood it is. That's what I thought it would be. Mm, going back to good old Hollywood. I have Hollywood twice for some reason. What the heck? Um, yeah, that's going to be a pretty good fight. We're going to see a pretty good battle. A lot of good aiming. A lot of open areas. So I don't expect to see fight this not straight away from the fair. I think he still should still play it. I think the team Guantanamo definitely have a game plan 
once flightless is on his uh Farah. When it's playing when he's playing anything else, it's a little bit rougher of where everything's going. And Black Wave has to be even more so the main carry for the team. So we'll see what Team Coming Tandem can do. Uh Color Wheel, they just kinda create their own color wheel. They literally have <laughs> So many choices that they can actually pick from for the team. Like Applesauce was the tank player for most of the day. Now the DPS player is doing so, so well. Um, Just Matt, who was playing some really good DPS, bringing some great, great Zarya play. So I love how uh, permutated, I think that's the word I was looking for, but pretty much interchangeable color wheel can do with uh, their picks, the roles, pretty much anything off on the team. You know, they really have been complimenting each other with their, uh, their colors today. Switching out red and greens, blues and oranges, purples and yellows. It's great. Is, is that the color wheel, the actual wheel, the wheel of destiny? The color, if, co yeah, complimentary, I guess it depends on how you say it, Com complimentary colors. There's six pairs, three pairs. Oh gosh, I have a whole graphic for this. This is oh, something God. I studied oh. many years ago, but I've forgotten since. I thought you were going to say you're like your art major and you're about school <laughs> right now. <laughs> I mean, I almost was, so in a sense, a uh, film major turned broadcasting major. Gotcha. So... But <laughs> I, I just, I just feel like color we all, they've been playing, I mean, they play so many games, but they've been showing that they, they can, um, evolve their team. Team Guantanamo, they've, mm -hmm. they haven't been tested, right? So it's really hard to say they can change out what they can actually do. And some some people went to take a quick, just you know, stand up break, bathroom, whatnot. Uh, so just letting those teams do that real quick. Yeah. All right. How are so, you guys doing? I, pretty good. How's it going over in the spectating world, there, Sunat? Uh, you know, just just chilling. Fortunate about those DCs, so, though. Oh, uh, I know, right? <laughs> uh, well, they do get a reset on their timer, so they have five minutes again if they need it. That's good. Um, but DC's no good. Australian internet, doubly no good. I mean, unless you can have some prime Australian $500 internet, then there you <laughs> go. Kick, kick. Um, I was about to say about this game. Uh, Team Guantanamo, they, they're they they're running. They're running really good. And if you guys are in the running to actually play some games, you might want to play tomorrow for the Moomin Overwatch Open. I believe there's already teams already selected out, but it's still open per se, right? What, for I forget ranks? right now. Open, open ranks or registration? Registration. No, registration closed on Friday night, I want to say. Thursday gotcha. night at midnight. But since this is a weekly tournament, everything is contained to one day for their respective tournaments. This is all going to happen again next weekend. Uh, be pretty much the same, hopefully. I mean, if you're a bronze, silver, or gold ranked player. We're going off season highs, by the way. Um, hopefully, oh, looks like uh, we're all good. I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Uh, Hollywood, let's go. Anyway, uh, bronze, silver, gold season highs. If you want to join, we do. We are supposed to have a bronze, silver, gold tournament, and we're supposed to have a platinum and diamond tournament, two separate ones. But because not enough teams signed up for bronze, silver, gold, we kind of smushed everything together. It's not, you know, it doesn't, may not seem fair for the lower ranked teams or players, but you know, we want to have as many people play as possible and. It's just one of the things that we had to do. It seemed to turn out, you know, for the most part, positive, I would say, today. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow is essentially the same thing, except now we get to have master and grandmaster players able to play in the open rank tournament. So it's a weekly registration that's uh, only for Moon Moon subs. So you do have to sub up to Moon Moon underscore OW, the god, the dad, the grandfather of all Red Hawks. So. Definitely go do that first. Although all the people who play Rodog bigger than him probably will hate me, but it's okay. It's all for Moon Moon and all for that. And they tell them they're better in chat. Hey Moon, mm -hmm. why are you so bad? Why you suck? Why you huck first? I mean, you never <laughs> huck first, right? Exactly. Do we have a Rodog? Oh, we do. Flightless. Do something. Well, well, I mean, he's still in spawn, but mm -hmm. I want to believe. Triple tank. So. 
we've seen Team Dynamite Guantanamo just go double tank pretty much the whole time. Will they twitch up? That's a question. Yeah, that's a really good question because I think that's a pretty good way of trying to counteract the triple tank coming out from Team or from Color Wheel. As we do see two tanks for Color Wheel this time. Okay, well, that happens right there. We just switched the teams and switched the actual play styles of each team. <laughs> team Wantanamo going with the three tank push. And currently, uh, Color Wheel have an interesting setup for their team. All of their damage and tank is on one roof, while supports are on the back just from a distance, because that's what they can do to Nyata and Anna. And uh, already, Flightless getting tank as Roadhog taken down, so maybe double thinking what he'll be choosing next, but it's like someone's going on point anyway. It's like Genji, ooh, Black Wave, try to get a little cheeky reflection with it, but man, they did not like him going there and they punished him for that, basically. Yeah, if you wanted to do a three tank uh, play, this is definitely one of those, but I would think more on the defensive side than on the offensive side. Let's see if the team right can actually push in as they are down one game. This is a match point essentially for Color Wheel. If they can win this, they can win out pretty much all the marbles. Literally just marbles there. Yeah, yeah. We're shipping about two marbles per team, or per mm -hmm, player. Mm -hmm. well, actually, that's why not make it two team. They have to cut it up with a glass saw or something. <laughs> uh, anyway, hammers are being swung wildly by Biosock on those stairs, and Whiteless is just getting pegged by Anna who's playing, played by SJ currently. So a lot of ultimate charge is getting by SJ, and you'll have Anna boost shortly here at 85%. They're peeking out through the stairs, and they make the full commitment to walk down. Oh, the charge comes from Biosock, but the last-minute hook from Flightless saves the teammate. But currently, AC and Black Wave are down, so they may have to double think or think again if they want to push this point, but they're just going to go for it. Oh, the hook went for a straight line, so he hit the top of the ceiling instead of getting pulled into the stairs. So they're gonna currently go back, recuperate for a second. Oh, the hook onto Applesauce, but the shield saves him for a second. Applesauce is probably gonna back off after that because he likes to play in the back. Remember, Reclaimer, both supports still sitting off and out of the way of all damage, but AC going down once again. It seems like the rest of the team, oh, the hook again. He's gotta know that that hook comes out in a straight line as it pulls back. He just can't get anything through that doorway. Pretty much they should get off that roof. I mean, Black Wave, everybody yeah. else, they they haven't really done much over here. They've been staying in the apartment, and uh, they're living in the apartment right now. As we do <laughs> see the drop down coming out from uh, F6, we'll see if they get the boost and the rock. Black Wave going on with the nano boost to Genji Blade. Oh, well, he takes down Reclaimer, who had the dead eye going. He went into the back where, where Manatee's Transcendence was not hitting anyone. Biosock, who was currently nano boosted, walks forward and swings his hammer. But once again, that push to no avail, a minute left. It seems like uh, Guantanamo cannot break the defense currently. Oh, but they're going to get two picks. Applesauce is actually going to be a pick. But they at least picked up just Matt, so Nazaria coming right back in for this one. All right, so they're both sitting on e either side of the point. Reinhardt's looking at each other with the shields, but Reclaimer comes in with a stone and F-Stake and a flame strike into him. So F-Stake sitting at half health, but AC going down from Applesauce. Currently, F-Stake with his Earth Shatter, he'll be looking to use it maybe. Oh, but not with a double kill from the Flame Strike. He can save that for another day. F Stake trying to make his way out with Vegetas. Apparently, Uber Donut kind of by himself as well. He's not going back with his team and he's just scooching his way back. Currently, Applesauce and Reclaimer are not in the fight yet. They're running back. Applesauce just joins and in comes. In comes the attack. Graviton Surge, Nano Boosted. Uh, oh, Earth Shatter. Wow, that's four down. No mercy, so there's no resin. They're going to grab this in overtime. There's no way they can contest this. Play of the match right there. It was a 5v6 no matter what. Reclaimer wasn't going to be coming back for that fight. But oh my, the sleep dart on top of the graviton surge and the hammer down. Get banned. Moon 2 banned from that <laughs> one. And good stuff coming out for King Guantanamo Warrior. Their lives are on stake. They have no more Terran chances. They need to win this game to force a fifth and final game in the first Moon Sub, moon sub Rumble. At right, the first weekend, best of five. Currently, Color Wheel up 2-1, and they're going to just take that high ground, sitting there with the shield from Biosock. Applesauce always by himself off to the side. 
in the high ground as well, and he's just pegging every, everyone away. Currently no picks, but down goes Cloudstock by himself currently, and he gets healed up from the Anna's grenade, but it may not be enough as he gets taken off the Mystic. Yeah, and a grenade for the grenade right there. And just oh, Matt's yeah. gonna get the Graviton Surge, but there's no support coming back from this one. And that was pretty wasted, or I would say. We're telling where you're gonna be able to get that one. But Applesauce, everybody else just falling down. Color Wheel, they might be breaking up the seam, and they are getting picked off one by one by one by the triple tank um, oh <laughs> on Oh my time. god. SJ was hiding for quite a long time on that little roof. Oh, got another pause. Looks like uh, AC probably again is my guess. No, uh, I think Bio. Bio interesting. Yeah. Uh, never mind. Guess he's back. Emergency. It's not good. All right. All right. Well, I guess false call. I mean. People getting cold goofs in chat. Bam, son. My ultimate is ready. Brief Just pause. like the banner is going there. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is unfortunately the second point. Kind of getting pushed through. I think Biosock, I don't think he DC'd. I think he just parked in and unfortunately just uh, went without the team and everybody else tried to use their ults. So, another thing by Color Wheel, they are still playing for quite a lot of time. And they hold off on this last point. We'll see. Autonomous got to make a play to stop this momentum that Color Wheel is putting up time and time again. They're coming into the final push. They got to make a left and a right, and they just go straight. Applesauce has been a thorn in their back the entire time, always standing up where, up somewhere. But in the meantime, down on the ground floor, Reclaimer taking out Vetches. So that's two healers down, actually, for uh, for Guantanamo. So they're not looking good right now. But they're going to try and push as best they can. You know, with two DPS and, or one DPS and three tank, if they take down a Reclaimer, so maybe this is just enough for them. Currently, Applesauce is being... Oh, he gets taken down from Uber Donut. Well, he's had his ultimate, so that's a big pick, so that's something they need to capitalize on right now. Yeah, but DPS is down there, and we're going to see the Graviton Surge go right on. Tencent is going to be on there, but the damage should be coming out. The whole hog going to rock wow. in onto Biosock. We're going to see the clean up yet again from Flightless. But we do see Klima on the backside gets to pick off one. And Applesauce can pick it off the two. And we're going to see if Applesauce and the rest of the DPS can actually clean up the back line. The front line is now the only thing that's left that they're actually going to Wow. Even though Applesauce got taken down early in that engagement, he came up and flanked anyway. He got, used his ultimate and made sure to clean up. Yeah, Even it was really important that, for that ultimate. In that engagement, I believe Black Wave, he used his Deadeye, but at the same time, Flightless used his whole hog and was mana boosted, so he pushed everyone out of the way. So it was essentially a wasted hold, so Black Wave has to build that back up. The only thing that is if we can get some more picks. Applesauce didn't pick up on the side though, but he is going to get picked off as well. Flightless, the change over to this uh, Roadhog has been pretty immaculate, I would say. He has been doing such a good job. Flightless destroy whatever you can and we've seen him beat the carry before he is the carry again now <laughs> biosock throwing down earth shatter but not before getting tanked down himself reclaimer also threw out his uh death blossom but didn't get anyone because of the transcendences from well i guess both zenyatis have used them so far but five seconds left I don't think anyone can get back there unless D.Va will blast her way up, but they just can't push back. One second, Tracer coming in for last second. Oh, the overtime is triggered, but it won't be enough. Everyone's just going to be trickling in. Six people currently for Color Wheel. Well, it looks like it'll be GG for well, this first round. round. Yeah. Complete. Yeah, I almost thought in my head, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> is this the end? Is this the end? <laughs> uh... That was like some pretty good round. Team Guantanamo in the end have an answer and it's this road dog that's coming out from flightless but color wheel the i mean we've been praising them so much applesauce has been, been playing like a god and you really saved it out at the last push getting into a three kill and on top of that uh, reclaimer getting into 2k just to hold off that push for that ending little final nick still have to win twice yes that is the big thing no, no, we, have we to don't reset the no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we are not playing another. <laughs> All right, boys, let's pack it up, start again.
Oh my god, the best fight would be crazy. Uh, uh, we oh, were discussing please, this no. before, right? Yeah, the best fight, you know. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can spend 12 more hours totally. <laughs> God. Um, I, I was talking about this actually in, in trying to pre-lobby chat where I was uh, casting another game and uh, unfortunately they didn't have the rule where they had a, the winner bracket had a team or a game advantage. So if the loser team actually won the bracket, they would have to reset the bracket game. I was playing this game where it takes one hour to one hour 30 minutes to complete a game. There's a best of three that turned into best of seven. That's pretty good after a long day of casting oh man yeah so i mean it is the best five and this is technically the final one just because we did have the winner's advantage coming out from um team i don't know who did win out the winner's bracket all the way through well if they can push it all the way to the end and well not even all the way to the end they don't have to get oh i'm sorry they're defending uh derp the brain is going out <laughs> yeah if color wheel pushes they... all the way in it, it will yeah, pretty much win out and it's yeah. But if not, we go to the last map, and that will be between 366 and King's Row. But before even thinking about that, let's focus on the game at hand. Flightless over there by himself on the stairs, and that may have been a mistake. He's trying to get back to his team. He's taken out right away, but it's SJ as well going down. So it's still sort of an even match, and Reclaimer getting popped out of the Mac Bioshock. Coming out, oh, a great charge, knocking people off the, the roof. But he goes down himself, interesting enough, by himself. And now, people, everyone on the stairs. Other wheel is just taking its point by storm, pushing everyone off. I'm guessing they're gonna grab this unless Flightless can come and get a really nice pick. But no, I don't think so. With all those picks, it's gonna be they're gonna grab this first point. Yep, Flightless gonna be able to take it down by the end as well. Triple ten comp coming right back in. Color wheel versus King Guantanamo. They're doing both the same little things. But Color wheel is just doing it a little bit better. On top of that, well, the Soldier seventy six. I mean, the patch has kind of made things happen, but I would say Applesauce has been doing such a great job with his positioning all around the maps. Speaking of positioning, he's heading up top right away. He's grabbing that high ground advantage and pops off his tactical advisor right away. Tactical advisor? Sure, why not? But he takes out Uber Donut, who's sitting in the back. He takes on Playlist as well, so they're pushing way far, far forward with three on the payload in the back, so they're playing this just about perfectly right now. Clearing the, the enemies in front and just having a constant speed of payload in the back. Yeah, he took his visor from his visor and, you know, he took the visor so getting three kills right there. And Full Sauce and everybody else just pushing out really cleanly. And I don't think they've actually died around from this one. Oh, this is crazy. Everything is just streaming right wow. through and Color Wheel is just pulling it out of the sky. They're able to take out the second point, no problem for this one. Right, Team Guantanamo has to get into a good position. They have lots of ultimates, but so does Color Wheels. They have to find a good spot, and currently both their tanks are separated from the team, so they're gonna die here. Unless, you know, some miracle happens, but uh, down goes Steak and AC as well, so now... Oh, wow, hello, Uber Donut. He's in the back lines as well, and he kind of boosts away himself. So now, they have to use their ultimates very precisely here. Because there are still five ultimates that Color Wheel is going to have, and they have lots of momentum coming in. They don't even have to push to the end, so this is going to be huge engagement. Well, it's pretty much the end, but yeah, it's right before the trailer actually goes down. f stake actually on the top side, not blocking off any damage from the bottom side. Some interesting positioning, but we do yeah. have the ultimate coming in. Oh. He jumps down just in time for the grab on Surge to shield, but he gets charged anyway. Both, oh, four piece, five piece. That'll be pretty much GG. Manatee popping off the transcendence just to get the heals up. And it looks like these will be your winners for the first season and day of the Moon Moon Weekly Tournaments. Color Wheel taking it by storm. Oh my word. Applesauce freaking A. Ending that with a 5k. Wow. My, my word, I mean, Color Wheel, at one point, were pretty much going to be tossed out of this tournament. They got beat by Team Gautanamo as well, but coming out from every little point of the match, Color Wheel in the end are your grand champions. Size of relief by both sides, I think. They've both been playing for a long time, especially Color Wheel, going into the loser's bracket right away, I believe, because they faced Team Gautanamo in the first round.
here they are again, and they got their revenge, getting the win. Congrats. Epic. Someone to Color Wheel to grabbing that win. Done. Boy, and we gotta do this all over again tomorrow in the open. Yeah, not as many hours of coverage possibly, but the open will be quite a bit of a storm. Um, just final thoughts for me. I I think this was a pretty solid first tournament uh, for everyone that was involved, for everyone who actually played. And for the most part, there is some drama in between everything, but um, really the, the best teams really strewn out in the end, and it was the loser bracket that actually came out in the end, so... It's really cool to see the competition, the competitive level of this, well, this sub community of Moon Moons, but also just the competitiveness of, of Overwatch right now. It's very, very cool to see teams really heading up to that level and making sure they can actually evolve the play of their teams. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's the first time we've done this. Work in progress. We're you know constantly tweaking things, but thanks for everyone who's been participating and patient enough for having us you know humble mods and streamers to get things in place and try to get things to run as smoothly as possible but thank you bird for casting today and all the other mods see not wraith see who else sir fancy bottom was modding as well today biscuits doing a little modding from home as well i'm sure i've forgotten someone i apologize thanks to you man for setting most of this up dude and also be me for coming by. And I, I heard he actually came by for one of the streams. He, he, he did last there. game. Yeah. He popped in. He said hello and everyone copied him because that's what good people do. <laughs> of course. Only high quality memes, guys. Only high quality memes. Absolutely. But for now, well, until tomorrow, really. Tomorrow, bright and early, round one starts for the open. 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for all those teams. We won't be streaming probably until, my guess, the... Uh, at least, obviously, the final three games, so semifinals and finals. You know, we may pick up one or two quarterfinals games, but that's to be seen. We'll be posting announcements everywhere on the, the Sub Rumble Discord and maybe in the actual Moon Discord as well. But until then, thank you for watching. Thanks to all the people participating and working behind the scenes. We'll see you tomorrow for the Moon Moon Sub Rumble Open Tournament for some new mediocre amazing gameplay bye now bye bye so yeah thank you to everyone for watching uh hope you all have enjoyed the uh uh whatever the fuck we're gonna call this the sub rumble uh ggs to everyone who played and uh that's gonna be it for me too thanks guys